everybody. My name is Alan, otherwise known as C-Sweet, and I'm from ReverseThieves.com as well as the Speakeasy Podcast. And me and my friend Kate, otherwise known as Narutaki, are going to Otakon 2014. If you're going to, then I'd like you to know that we're doing three, in my humble opinion, really great panels. We've been doing panels for quite a few years, and I think we've gotten pretty darn good at it. So, if you're looking for some excellent panel content, you might want to check ours out. We're doing one on Friday, pretty early in the morning, and then two on Saturday night. And if you're one of our double digits number of subscribers, you know, you've seen that we do good content, and you might want to check them out because of that. And if you're one of the random people who just typed in Otakon 2014 and said that, eh, that guy's face looks friendly. I'll check out what panels he's doing. Um, Kate's also really cute, so you might want to go to the panels just for that. But I think that our content speaks for itself. So, here we go. Our first panel is new anime for older fans. An oldie but a goodie. Also an evergreen panel. If you're an older fan, or a fan just with an old soul, you might be overwhelmed with the number of new shows that come out every season. It's easy to feel like, man, there's nothing for me anymore. I don't really like movie shows or shows aimed at teenagers. What is there for someone with a more refined palate, such as myself? Well, you could go and dig through your nostalgia collection, but after a while, you're going to want something new. We tier eight titles from the last five years that are cut above the rest. And if you've been to previous iterations of this panel, don't worry, we have all new material. All our clips are 100% different from the material we showed at Otakon two years ago, and over 50% of our material is different from what we showed at Anime Next this year. So if you're looking for something new to watch, come on down. New anime for older fans is on Friday at 11.15 a.m. in Panel Room 7. Our second panel is probably one of our most ambitious panels we've ever done. The visual stylings of Kunihiko Ikuhara. You might know him as the director of Revolutionary Girl Lutena and Muwaru Penguin Drum. And if you're a big Mooney, he's also the director of Sailor Moon S and Super S. Me and my companion Kate will be looking at how he is just revolutionary in his style. A lot of directors stand out in anime for one reason or another, but Ikuhara really has a visual style that is completely his own, that both stands out from even the extraordinary animation of anime, but also just other directors as well. So if you are a fan of Utena, Penguin Drum, Sailor Moon, or any of his other work, then come down. Even if you've never seen any of his work, it's just worth seeing what a visually stunning director he is and the techniques he uses to bring out the magnificence of his very rich topics. So if any of that interests you, come on down on Saturday at 9.30 p.m. in Power Room 1. Last but not least is The Measure of a Man, The Nature of a Hero, a Fate's Day Night panel. If anybody knows me personally, they'll know that I am a huge Type Moon fan, thereby me doing a Fate's Day Night panel should surprise nobody. I've done Type Moon panels at Otakon in the past, and I found that really the only people who go to Type Moon panels are Type Moon fans. So I'm going to give a panel directly for the hardcore. There's no introduction to Fate's Day Night. I'm going to assume that that you've at least watched the anime, if nothing else. And we're going to look at the rich thematic elements of the three paths of the visual novel and what each of them says about the characters and the interlocking nature of the story. If you're a fan of Fate Stay Night or Fate Zero or Type Moon in general, you might want to check it out. I think it'll lead to a richer understanding of the material and a little more appreciation for the branching path of the game. If any of that is interesting to you, then come on down on Saturday at 1 a.m. in Panel Room 6. I hope everybody listening found at least one panel of ours that they wanted to go to. If you like what you see, 
mention it on the forums, tell your friends, and otherwise, I'll see you guys all in Baltimore. See you then.